Hey, Andy here from builderhottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to install a skimmer on your DIY hot tub or plunge pool. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so let's start with the role of a skimmer. So the role of the skimmer is firstly to collect any debris that is sitting on the surface, any large things like leaves it will catch in the skimmer basket, any smaller particles, things like oils, lotions, for example, that are sitting on the surface of your hot tub or your pool, enter through the skimmer on the inward suction side of the pump, and then they're caught and trapped inside of the filter. So there's two parts to the inward suction. You've got your bottom or lower drains, and then you've got your skimmer at the top. And if you're on a swimming pool, normally you would have these on separate pipes so that you can then control by a manifold the actual balance of the suction. On a hot tub, kind of less so. Not quite as important as it is on a pool to have them on separate suction lines. Some people do, some people don't. I must admit, I mix them depending on the size of the actual custom hot tub that I'm doing. They can just be connected to the bottom drains to allow inward suction from both the bottom of the tub and off the surface. So that's the first role of the skimmer. The second role of the skimmer is allowing you to set the water height. Now the water height should be, or the water level, should be the center of the skimmer. And this is to allow for displacement when you get in. So when you get in, you don't want the water all overflowing. The center of the skimmer allows you enough displacement to, for it to move up when you get in, and it takes up the slack of the displacement. So how do we install a skimmer? So this video has come about because I've been asked a couple of times and believe it or not with the thousand plus videos I've got on the channel this wasn't one of them so I'm making this now. How do we install it? What the best practice is? I'm going to talk about that now. Before we get on to that always a great opportunity for me to say please do subscribe to the channel hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do long form videos every single week a whole bunch of shorts and everything on my channel focuses on DIY hot tubs, plunge pools, parts and pretty much everything in between. So the skimmers that we use in our DIY hot tubs and plunge pools are concrete skimmers so they're not liner skimmers. The difference is with a liner you have a face plate that goes over the front and it traps the liner in place to keep the water from escaping behind it. Our concrete skimmers are designed to sit, as the name suggests, in concrete walls or block walls. So they're the ones that we're going to use and they look something like this behind me. They're all much of a muchness. You can get ones that have front weirs on, but Really, the, the whole thing of the skimmer is that there's a small basket in there that you can catch the larger debris in, empty it, put it back. And some people actually use a skimmer to load their chemicals. Now, I know this is a contentious issue. It's very polarized on people's views, whether you should put chemicals in the skimmer or whether you should have them in a, a floating device instead. Personally, I use my skimmer to load the chemicals. Never been an issue. It's totally up to you how you do it. I'm sure lots of people will hit me up in the comments saying how it's why it's a bad idea and why you shouldn't do it, that's totally fine. You're all, of course, entitled to your own opinions. So the first part of the installation is getting the correct height. And I must admit, this was something that I messed up ever so slightly, I was about an inch out. So on my own tub, I actually have a cover that sits up to the top of the skimmer. If you get it right and you've measured it correctly, which personally I didn't, it should look something like this when you're finished. You've got a top cover of your skimmer that's going to sit flush with either the coping or the finished deck surface or patio surface that, that you actually had. And it's it should be perfectly smooth, perfectly level, and the skimmers do allow you uh, a certain level of adjustment to, to get that right. But personally, I got it all wrong, but that's fine. Don't copy me. I always say that I made all the mistakes so that you don't have to, and I teach them all on this channel so that you don't make them as well. Now remember, when you're setting the height, the center of your skimmer is going to be the water level or the water line on your hot tub or your pool. So you're going to want to have made these calculations before you're fitting the skimmer to make sure that for a hot tub, for example, is somewhere around the 39 inch for a water line. That's kind of normal on our DIY hot tubs. For a pool or a plunge pool, it's totally up to you. It depends what kind of depth you've gone to, but the center of your skimmer, as I keep stressing, is the water level on your hot tub or your pool. 
With that done, the next thing that you're going to look at is, is the kind of the depth. And the depth, by depth, I mean the, the size of the, of the throat of the skimmer to come into your pool or your hot tub. Now, on a pool, you've got a couple of options. You can use an extension throat, which looks something like this, and that enables you to have enough kind of length on the neck of the skimmer itself to, to fit comfortably into the wall. And then you can adjust that throat so that the front of it is then flush with your final surface. Now on our hot tubs, they tend to be a lot smaller than pools. So if you have a huge extension throat like this, it's gonna look kind of ugly. So what I tend to suggest is if your wall is thicker than the neck of the skimmer, you actually build out the neck of the skimmer in concrete. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you see the image behind me, this is uh, Amanda's build. I'm doing a case study on this. It's uh, a build that's just started in New Orleans in, in the USA, and she's fitting a skimmer here. And she was actually one of the people that requested it. So, so Amanda, thanks for the pictures you've been sending through. Keep them coming and keep up the good work on the tub itself. You'll notice that the skimmer neck is actually shorter than the wall. So what I would suggest here is you actually build it out. And by building it out, you're gonna make in concrete the, the edge of the skimmer. And you can see behind me what that kind of looks like. This was Trey's build over in Germany, and he actually had a, a cylindrical tub, and he built his wall out around the skimmer, and then you can actually tile in. And what you're left with is a, is a much cleaner, way of installing the skimmer. So rather than this big ugly extension throat, which kind of takes up most of your wall on our smaller DIY hot tubs, you tile in and you just leave the opening of the skimmer. So you, you can actually tile all the way into the skimmer. You, you can put your tiles onto the plastic skimmer as well. It's totally up to you. Uh, I actually did similar. I tiled right around the front of mine and you can see that behind me here. So you just see tile on, uh, on mine. You don't actually see any of the skimmer itself. And it, it's just a way of keeping the skimmer in place aesthetically making it look better than one of those oversized extension throats, which again, they look great on pools where you've got loads of space, you don't actually notice, but they will be a little bit sightful on a DIY hot tub because it's just too big of a fixture for the size of the pool itself. So there we have it, quite a simple and short video here. So we've covered the role of the skimmer, when you're installing it, just a quick recap, make sure you get the height correct so that when you put the lid on the skimmer, it's gonna be flush with your finished surface. Remember to take into account that the center of the skimmer is gonna be your water line on your hot tub or your pool. And then when you're putting it into the wall, if it doesn't quite reach through all the way, my top tip is to build out around the skimmer itself tile or paint back into the skimmer to give you a smaller opening that aesthetically looks a lot better. Hopefully you found this short video useful. If I can help you in any way, please do get in touch via buildahottub.com. And if you need any parts, partsfortubs.com, partsfortubs.co.uk. We've got everything you need for your hot tubs and your pools. Thanks ever so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.